What's up YouTube, it's Mim the Barber here again, coming to you guys with another unboxing and review. For today, we're not gonna be doing a clipper, we're gonna be doing something a little different, something I've been wanting to try for a long time. Nothing but the one and only West Tech One Blade. I've been wanting to try this thing for a long time. It goes from a zero all the way up to a two in just one simple blade, so I'm very excited. Uh, luckily, my birthday was a couple weeks ago and my mom got it to me for me for my birthday, so I didn't even have to pay for it, which is great. But before we get started, if you can please subscribe to my YouTube channel, I have a lot of good videos coming to you guys. Uh, if you wanna follow me on my other social media, all the links will be down below in the description. And without further ado, let's get started. So when you get it, you're gonna get it just like this. There's gonna be like a little plastic wrap on it. I'm just gonna take that out. And I always like to show you guys the box up first. You're gonna see all the chapters down below. You can choose whichever chapter you wanna see, but I always like to start with the box. So this is how you're gonna get it. This is the front, and then this is the back. There's gonna be some information in the back that I'm gonna read to you guys. So we're gonna read this top part. It says, introducing the West Tech One Blade, the revolutionary hair clipper blade that allows you to adjust the cutting length from number zero to number two without having to remove or replace any guards. With its advanced technology, the One Blade makes it easier and faster to achieve the perfect look for your client, whether it's a buzz cut or a textured crop made from high quality materials, the One Blade is durable and easy to maintain, making it a reliable tool. Right, there's gonna say set includes one West Tech one blade, the West Tech guard zero to number two. I did not get the one that comes with the extra guards. I just wanted the zero to the two. I'm not gonna use the other guards. Um, right here, you're gonna see the image of the guard and the first click is 1.5 millimeters. Second click is three millimeters. Third click, 4.5 millimeters. And the fourth click is six millimeters. So on the picture right here on this side, it's gonna show you left to decrease, right to increase, push the lever to the left or right to adjust the cutting length. The cutting length will adjust 1.5 millimeters each notch. So all that information will be in this back. Uh, box is pretty simple, like I said. Now let's open this up. So you're gonna pull this little tab right here. And you're gonna get the uh, first things, you're gonna get the instructions right here. And then very simple, you're gonna get the actual one blade right here. And then you're gonna get the guard right here. We're gonna be installing it today on this Gamma X Ergo. If you wanna see the video where I unbox and review this actual clipper, uh, I'll leave a link right here to where you can just click it or you can just watch it later on my videos if you click on my channel. Uh, but we're gonna be installing it on this one. It's very lightweight, so I feel like it's gonna be great. That's Take these two little uh, screws you're gonna see in the back. We're gonna take those screws off. And then there it is, the blade is out. Might be a lot of hair right here, so if you wanna clean it up, you can. I'm gonna do that now. All right, so I got the clipper all cleaned up. It was a lot of hair in this area. So we are gonna keep the actual cutting blade and we're just gonna lay the West Tech One blade on top of that. So. I'm going to show you real quick. You're just going to put this piece in there. And then this piece, we're going to put it right on top. So it's a little complicated to put, but um, I showed you there up front how to kind of do it. And you're going to use the same screws. And once you have it placed where it's supposed to, you're just gonna screw those screws down. And then also what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kinda zero gap it myself to where it's true to uh, true to size, I guess you could say. So I'm just gonna zero gap it. All right guys, so I installed it. It took me some time to zero gap it into place everything right. I mean, it is a little tricky when you're putting it at first, but I got it nice and zero gap. You, it kind of falls into place when you're zero gapping it, which is good. So I'm gonna show you up front how I got it. Make sure, you know, you turn it on and make sure that the lever is working fine. Make sure it's not biting on the skin. 
just to make sure, you know, better to try it now than when you're cutting hair and the blade is all falling apart. <laughs> all right, and last but not least, we're just gonna put the guard that goes right on top of it. There's gonna be like a, a little edge here I'm gonna show you up front and then it just slides right onto it. So, slides just like that. And then I'm just gonna start turning it, make sure, uh, make sure it kind of falls to where it's supposed to. One thing I am noticing is that it, when I'm switching it, I don't know if you can see it, it kind of gets stuck a little bit in between me changing them. So that's kind of a, a, a step down, but it is working, it's going up and down, so. I don't know, you know, these new technologies, it'll never be perfect, but hey, we'll give it a shot. All right, so one thing that I noticed is I was kind of having complications taking the actual guard out for the people that bought the extra two guards if they want to go higher than a two. Um, but it's pretty simple. You're just going to press, go all the way up to the number two, pressing right, and then at the end, you're just going to press left, and then it's going to, the guard should slide right out. So yeah, I mean, overall, there's a couple things that I don't like. Like I said, it gets stuck sometimes, and that's gonna set me back. I don't know if it's a, it takes time to just kinda, I don't know, loosen up or what. It's not doing it so much now, which is good. Uh, I think it just kinda had to break in a little bit. I'm excited, let's go give these a shot and see how they work. All right, so the first category I'm gonna be rating this blade is in debulking. I'm gonna do a one and a half all over, and as you can see, this blade is just chopping. It doesn't interfere at all with the original stock moving blade. So I definitely have to rate this a five out of five. It works very well when it comes to debulking. The next category I'm gonna rate this blade is in fading. So I heard many people that when they fade down to up, it's complicated. So I'm gonna do one side fading down up and the other side fading from the top down. So we're gonna start off right here. I did the zero open and then zero half closed. I'm gonna do the zero close. Every step I'm gonna have a lever open, lever halfway, and lever close. So right now I'm just finishing off the details. I'm gonna hit it again with the uh, trimmer to take that bottom bald line out. And then I'm just gonna go over it again with the zero open right there, and just detail a little bit. Now we're gonna go with the 0 0.5, and we're gonna do the 0 0.5 open. And then we're gonna go with the 0 0.5 halfway, as you can see there, and then we're gonna finish it off with the 0 0.5 closed. It's honestly fading very well. Uh, I haven't had any issues when it comes to fading, except for the fact that it does get stuck sometimes, and as you can see there, it got stuck. Um, but other than that, it fades very well from down to up. I don't know why people have had issues. I personally have, and the only issues I have had is when it gets stuck. Like as you can see right there, uh, it got stuck again. It's honestly a little frustrating, but most of the time it does work fine. I like how it fades. I won't completely substitute it for my guard system, but I can definitely see myself using this a lot more. And I've have used this on a lot of other clients, undercuts tapers and it's definitely a good tool i'm going to definitely rate this a four out of five when it comes to fading just because it's a little bulky on the blade area and that can get in your way but other than that it works very well and then on this side i'm just going to do the same thing just fading from up down so i'm going to start with the one open and then one halfway one closed basically the same steps i did on the other side just going from the top down i don't personally fade from up to down just because it's a little confusing, but it's all about memorizing the guidelines on the other side. And yeah, the last category I'm gonna rate this is in ease, basically on how easy it is to use, um, how much time it saves you. And I definitely have to rate this a four, just for the fact that the clicks get stuck and it really is annoying. It doesn't make it as easy as I would want it to be. But the good thing is not that it does it always, like as you can see there, it did it but most of the time it works fine and it does save you a lot of time so it makes up for it. I definitely see myself using this. All right guys, so this is it for this West Tech unboxing and review. I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, press the thumbs up. If you didn't like it, press the thumbs down but twice. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I got a lot more videos coming to you guys. If you wanna follow me on my other social media, if you wanna keep up to date with my day-to-day -day barbering life, all the links will be down in the description. And thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, share to your friends, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.